I get it. This is beginning to be my personal hell, too. Kinsey, what am I wearing? You should see what your face looks like. Why? What did you do to my face? Matt told me some very specific concerns that she has about you. The fuck are you talking about? Where is he? Are you coming or what? What the fuck is going on here? Who are you looking for? Your evil twin. What? Well done. It's a gift. How are we going to get past that? I hope you're limber. Even the slightest disruption of a single beam will send a 2,000 volt shock through your entire body. What we'll have to do is move through the gaps in a serpentine pattern. You have fun with that. I'm taking the air duct. If I'm such an evil genius, why'd I leave these air duct covers unscrewed? So an evil version of me is your worst nightmare? Uh, how do you mean? Well, according to Kinsey, every person's simulation is based on their deepest, darkest fears. Okay. You fear me being in power more than anything else? The extent of your ego is certainly terrifying at times. I'm trying hard to remember why I'm rescuing you. Stay on guard. Mr. X could be hiding anywhere. Asha, I thought you knew me better than that. Why would I hide when I can kill your friends in front of you? Say hello, Matt. Asha, I... Good talk. Wow, you're cold. Johnny cried like a little bitch when his girlfriend got killed. I'm not gonna give you this satisfaction. Ooh, I love it when you talk tough. Then you're gonna fucking love me, you piece of shit. You. See you soon. The hell is this place? These are all people. They're replications of a highly functional sociopathic paradigm. Oh, you mean like the NRA? It's you. No shit. Should I look for lights to shoot, or is it okay to just kill these guys? Masako agents, huh? Altor's finest. Seems evil me is about as scrupulous as Dane Vogel when it comes to using company resources. Anyone else want to try me? Asha, about Matt, uh... I'm not sure what this whole thing is, but I know it isn't real. While I don't relish the idea of seeing someone I care about being murdered over and over again, I also don't see a purpose to needless blubbering. Hey, hey, I was just... Focus on the job. Ah, oh, look who's here. My favorite wannabe spy and a main motherfucker. I'm kind of surprised to see you here, other me. But of course, Asha could never do this without a man to do the heavy lifting. Hey, Asha, you there? 
Hold on, Matt wants to talk. Hi, Asha, how are you doing? What's you expect is gonna happen? Crumpet? Fancy a snog? Oh, that Matt. Such a character. I wouldn't mind killing him again. Oh, hey, as soon as you fail, I'll get to. Not gonna lie, still not sure how to take the fact that evil me is your version of hell. This isn't about you, believe it or not. Come on, you're fighting an evil me. That's what you're taking from this, your starring role. Well... I keep failing. Over and over, I keep failing at my job. It doesn't matter if it's evil you or a 50-foot soda can. When the fate of the world rests on your shoulders, you can't afford failure. And that, that is my hell. Okay, I, I think I get it. Great. I have murder bots. They're just another target. They're all just targets. Should I be concerned with how detached you are about all this? <sighs> I've been through this scenario dozens of times. Emotional disconnection is the true weapon of the soldier. View everything from the eyes of God. Yeah, way to balance inspirational speech and totally creepy cult leader, Asha. Much for a challenge. <laughs> well, well, well. You finally managed not to fuck this whole thing up. I suppose I should congratulate you before I put a bullet in your head. Let's stop the chit chat. Let's get to the us kicking your ass. Ah! Asha, I know you think you're coming correct here, really. I get that. You're a fucking superhero. Uh, but what's done is done. You can't stop this. You never could. You fail. That's what you do. That's why you got that shit assignment babysitting a gang of thugs as they hunted down Cyrus Temple. Remember that meeting with your bosses when they almost fired you? Shut up. Done you and up a thousand done. times already. And when you finally bring help, who do you choose? My weak yeah, hand. That selfish prick never cared about anything but getting his. 
that so-called puckish rogue didn't even blink when his best friend's girl got her head chopped off right in front of him. So that's what you think? I say it's a gift. Go ahead. Keep on killing as much of this cannon fodder as you want. Neither of you have ever cared much about human life, so why start now? You're both failures. An MI6 agent trying to amend for making one mistake after another. And an aimless sociopath who poisons everything they touch. Don't believe those things, just keep fighting! You smoke? I do now. Evil me was kind of an asshole. Good you is kind of an asshole. Blame my parents. Daddy issues? Nah, just... <laughs> forget it. Oh, don't like talking about your past. Don't see the point. Who cares what I did before I joined the Saints? Aren't you going to ask me about mine? I thought we were killing evil clones, not picking out place settings. Huh. Eh, yeah, should probably get out of here. Once more for old time's sake. Yeah, why not? 